Madam Speaker, whether the, this family is running this country as a family or we have a head of state. Now, students of uh, Mbarara University are mourning the death of their friend Rashid into Rajay, who was murdered in cold blood yesterday. Reports indicate that uh, he hired a border border rider from Mbarara to Ibanda at 50,000 Uganda shillings, but on reaching that side, Rashid refused to pay the border border guy, which prompted other border riders to beat him to death. Rashid was a student of medicine and surgery and was awaiting graduation. May his soul rest in peace. Now, the tweeting General President Museveni's son, General Mohozi Kainerugaba, is back at it again and uh, this time around he has sounded a warning to his father that he wants his army back. Looking critically at his tweet, he even put my in quotation marks to drive his point. In his own words, he said, UPDF is still my army. A fandom say, I want my army back. Wow. <laughs> well, it should be noted that General MK was the commander of land forces for about two years. However, he was dropped from that position after tweeting about controversial security issues in the region. We hope to receive a reply from the institution of the UPDF, particularly the spokesperson of the UPDF, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, and hopefully from his father, President Museveni. Meanwhile, today in Parliament, Kira Municipality Member of Parliament Honorable Semu Junganda questioned to know from the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Anita Monk, if this country is run by President Museveni's family or himself as a head of state. Let's briefly listen to the communication in Parliament this afternoon. The other day I saw MPs from Sebei stated that they are promoting Muhoz Kainerugawa is going to in Sebei and Honorable Chamaswet was there at a press conference. We need to know, we need to know, Madam Speaker, whether the, this family is running this country as a family or we have a head of state. Honor I don't know whether the Minister of Gender coming here will also resolve that unofficial running of the state by the relatives of the president. Honorable Samuji, was it out of my communication? <laughs> Madam no, Speaker, I, I'm, you, I'm you, just asking, was it out you, of my communication? You said the NSSF should come here tomorrow. And part of the problem is that you are inviting a minister, yet the minister is also appearing in Kapeka. So I am wondering <laughs> if you are going to get Kapeka to appear here. Because that's where the real problems are. That you have a head of state who is running the country together with his children and, and, and brothers. Madam Speaker, finally, the issue of... Honorable Samuju, you wanted a president to run this country with you or with who? Your wife, your children? Madam Speaker, this parliament... Vets. MK is the general in the army. Madam Speaker, this parliament vets ministers every year. By the way, we vetted, we vetted, we vetted Janet, Mama Janet, we vetted her. I don't want to comment about how you will stop me because uh, <laughs> <laughs> after vetting her on Zoom, she has okay. never appeared. But Madam Speaker. <clears throat> Honorable Madam, members, Madam Speaker, Honorable members, Honorable uh, Semujo has been away. Your guidance. He has been I am away. Your guidance. And in his register, his presence. Can you finish? You finish. Finish. No, no, Madam, I needed guidance. Uh, you need guidance. I needed guidance. Whether when Honor you summon a minister. Because you see, it is easier. We had trouble here with Namuganza. The rules say you write to the president. But the ministers are also appearing before Salim Sare. So it is actually right not the rule, the constitution. It is the constitution. Uh, Honorable Semuju, I have invited, I have asked, actually not asked, ordered and directed the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Gender to come and present on matters regarding NSSF tomorrow.
and they have to be here tomorrow. Me, I'm not, I am not aware of Kapeka because I've never been there. So I don't know anything about Kapeka. Well, there you go. That is horrible. Semu Junganda from Kira Municipality putting up a very tough question to the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Anita Among. This is uh, the Buzz UG, and uh, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. Haji Luzi says a very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from wherever you're listening in from. And uh, don't forget to get in touch with him on that number. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.